exhibiting here today. Some of my paintings are in the background, but I've also been curating art in the orchard. It's been a fantastic day. Um, so grateful to all the artists who have been involved and Sherry's been filming and we've got the wonderful mural as well. Uh, we've had Linvale Golding here. Uh, he's been singing his latest uh, track of his latest album which has been fabulous and uh, we've had 200 or more people all coming to look at the art and saying some lovely things so I'm really grateful and feel quite humble. I think my dad would be very proud of it. So the Peace Orchard Garden, the Peace Orchard itself was set up by my father, um, Dennis Davison, about five years ago um, and it's a place of sanctuary and obviously peace. Uh, the apple trees, there's 120 odd of them all from English varieties um, and his vision was he wanted a lasting legacy of why peace is important and he wanted this to be um, similar to the uh, apple orchards in Villiers Bocage in France where he lived for 20 odd years um, and where he was a young soldier so there's you know all sorts of um, things wrapped up in why we have a, an orchard but it it's it's a beautiful place and it will only get better over the years um, well 20 years time we'll come here and the trees will be fully grown and we'll be producing apple uh, apple products and yeah I can't wait I'm Esther from uh, Theme Springboard, I'm the horticultural manager there and we have a fantastic community garden called the Theme, uh, uh, called the Zen Garden and we grow loads of food stuff there that we donate to food banks, we have some amazing volunteers there and today we came along to do some garden and craft activities. We also help to set up other community gardens and uh, would love to uh, help schools and other places to learn horticulture and gardening and anybody uh, to give them a peace of mind, to learn how, they, how to grow food and uh, flowers, how to make pollinators happy and just how to live a happier, healthier life. My name is Christopher Appleby and uh, I was born in Coventry and I'm very pleased to have been invited to come here and show some of my work today. I make lino cut prints. I try not to um, always do the conventional and I like to mess about with them, sometimes using more than one block in a, a print. I take uh, original images and try to change them to create something new from the original image. I think it's important that we push ourselves and uh, mess about with life and uh, entertain uh, ourselves through art. I'm very pleased that I was invited to come here today and show my work. Um, I've done some uh, orchard designs for uh, Ruth Davison, which I was really pleased to see that she uh, had printed as a fabric and made some cushions out of. And um, I've now got one myself, so I should feel very comfortable sitting on my own art. Hello, I'm, I'm Mark and uh, I'm here today in the, uh, the Peace Orchard and I'm making things out of paper. That's origami, um, things that are connected in some way to the ideas of nature, so there's lots of origami animals, but also the idea of peace and reconciliation and so on. So I've, I've got a few things like hearts, hearts and so forth as well, and fact there's a different sort of heart there. Um, and uh, actually in the, uh, in, the, in the orchard today, I've hidden some frogs, and if you find a frog, you've got to take it home and give it a good place to live. And that's got to be a promise. So keep an eye out for a frog in the orchard today. I'm Michaela Getbay. Um, I'm here at the Peace Orchard um, displaying my textiles. Um, they are inspired by English Romanticism and the poetic landscape. Um, they're emotional landscapes. Uh, I work on old blankets and um, I stitch um, by hand and machine. But predominantly hand stitching. I use lots of different fibres, so effectively I'm painting with materials and um, the blankets um, are my comfort blankets 
and uh, they take probably um, a piece of work can take me a considerable time I could be working over several years um, but that's part of the journey because I never know what's going to um, evolve from the piece when I start um, and I react to the materials that I'm working with so they take on their own formation through the fact that I'm working with an organic fabric like wool um, it's uh, very malleable and I build in the landscapes into the distortions that I'm creating through the actual material itself. My name is Ranbir Kaur and I am a textile and international Rangoli artist. Today I'm creating the Rangoli installation with fresh flowers. Uh, tell me a little bit about Rangoli, what it is and how it is done and where it is done and why it is done. Rangoli is uh, artwork from Gujarat in India where the lady of the house would wake up early in the morning, that, that is every morning, and she will make a small rangoli pattern at the threshold of the house using rice, lentils from the kitchen, and leave that for the whole day for the birds and the pigeons. Next morning, she will sweep up whatever is left over and throw in the garden and would start her day again with the fresh rangoli because they used to think it was good luck and prosperity for the family and also it was a welcoming sign for the guests now they were just using lentils and rice and i have taken my work to a very high level i use everything wherever i go for example if i go to greece I will buy the material from the Greece and use in my work. And the best one was when I went to Italy and I used all different types of pasta. It was lovely shapes and beautiful colors. So I have taken this <coughs> work a on a very high level. I've done the largest rangoli in the world for the Guinness Book of Record. And then I've done the first ever floating rangoli on the water with the British waterways and craft space. I've done about 650 rangolis all over the world. And the best part of my work is I n never have a design. When, whenever I do shopping, that is my preparation, the color combinations. But the design, I'll just sit on the floor, start with the chalk, and all designs are different. And in here today, <coughs> Peace Orchard Festival, which we are celebrating, they wanted me to do using fresh flowers. So obviously I do accordingly whatever they, they want. If they want lentils, I use lentils. If they say they want to use uh, sand, colored sand, then I use the colored sand. Uh, and also, Rangoli is such a thing, even if you don't have things, you can use whatever you have got in your kitchen. I'm KTO, uh, and I'm an artist, and I paint murals. Um, for lots of different people and businesses and uh, public art as well. Um, so I've been asked to paint this mural by Heather Davison uh, for the Peace Orchard. Um, we wanted to create something that's relevant to the area. So we've got uh, lots, of go lots of things going on in this mural. So we've got the nature side, so we've got um, the blossoms from the orchard, uh, butterflies, bees, and the flowers and then we've got uh, it turning into the rabbits which you can see early in the morning they're jumping around uh, and then it turns into the apples from the orchard where you've got um, the soldiers from the second world war because the trees were actually brought over from normandy so we wanted to draw that relevance in and then we've got it slow turning in the soldiers turn into the dog walkers because they get a lot of dog walkers in the morning morning and it's all about sort of doing art that's relevant to the area and that speaks to different people uh, and then the end part of the mural is actually um, helped designed by the students from cardinal newman who came over to the park and we had a little session and we discussed kind of what they'd like to see on the mural and uh, that's why i've added the dove which is part of their emblem and also two feathers which represent two um, young children that lost their lives, Mason and Isabel. And it's all about sort of 
marking a place where they can come and sort of remember them and actually talk about it and I think that's the best way to deal with things and actually that's the great thing about art, it brings people together and um, sort of helps us process things and I think as an artist that's what I do when I paint I'm always processing things in my head and get it out and we, we can express ourselves and I think that's really important. My name is Liv, I'm um, a fine artist, I'm originally from Romania and I've got two of my paintings here exhibited today at Friends of Coventry Peace Orchard. I specialize in this type of photorealistic paintings and um, my subjects are related to nature and um, I usually paint birds, butterflies, but sometimes portraits still lives, flowers, um, interested in beauty and uh, what beauty can uh, communicate to us. Okay, my name's Frankie, um, I'm a friend of Heather's, um, um, her late father organised the Peace Orchard, so she asked me if I'd come and help as a volunteer today. Um, and what we're trying to do is um, give out leaflets, um, some freebies, um, the facility to join the Friends of um, the Peace Orchard um, and try and get it out there. Um, we're on Facebook um, and also um, on various uh, multimedia stuff um, uh, and we're welcoming guests to here today. Um, there's lots of things to have for the children. They can build different things, plant different things and all around generally it's a nice walk round you see different artworks that people have made. Um, people are doing gardening clubs um, and different ventures like this. Um, myself come up here quite regular because I've got a dog. He likes the walks. Uh, but generally it's just a lovely place to come and contemplate and just wander around. Um, and obviously they're in conjunction with the, um, the hotel there. Um, and they're giving you uh, a discount if you want to go and have a coffee. Um, all in all, it's a nice day out or a morning out.